Yo, my name is Jamo, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this trippy smoke transition in After Effects. This transition looks quite simple, but there's actually quite a bit going on here that creates a really nice effect, and it's pretty easy to do. It should only take a matter of minutes for you. If you guys want to save time and money while editing, check out the Complete Chaos Bundle at jamovfx.com for over 100 great effects, including collages, drawing animations, and paper effects. But enough talking, let's just get right into this. So what I have here is is this smoke overlay. I'll have this linked down in the description. This isn't even a good quality overlay, but once we add on the effects, it looks very nice and saucy. So it just has a black background. All you have to do is go over here to your mode. If you don't see that, just go down to toggle switches and modes. And then I'll just change this to Lighten. You can use Screen, but Lighten looks the best when it comes to smoke assets. And then now you just want to time it up so that the most amount of smoke is kind of covering up his face during that transition. And what I'll go ahead and do is just move this up, scale it up so that it's covering the whole screen. And so to start off, we have something that looks like this. Now you could leave it look like this, but that looks like Dookie mixed with dog water. So I'm going to go ahead and pre-compose the layer all attributes into the new composition click ok and then change this back to lighten now what's most important here is to match the color of the smoke to the color of the scene just do some basic compositing here and this can be done with the curves effect and lumetri color so i'm gonna go ahead and add on curves and just change the channel to green and then i'm just gonna turn the greens up slightly Go to my blue channel and then turn the blues up slightly and as you can see here that already is starting to match the scene way better just with a tiny small tweak and then i'm just going to add on lumetri color here and then just decrease the whites a tad and then increase the highlights just a bit and basically with all of these values you just want to try to match this smoke to that smoke so for example you know we could turn down the temperature just slightly a bit more maybe go back into my green channel turn the greens up slightly and you know that's looking good enough for me right now so now i'm just going to go ahead and pre-compose those two background layers the two bottom main clips by highlighting them and doing Control shift c and then move all attributes into the new composition and then click this little box right here click ok now one of the most important steps is adding on this effect called sapphire distort and if you guys don't have sapphire distort you could always add on the built-in displacement map effect and just follow the same rules basically with this lens input if you use displacement map you just use this input instead so it's practically the same just with different settings and variations of modules and on this smoke layer i'm just going to rename this to smoke layer and on the background layer i'm going to set the lens input to the smoke layer <clears throat> and then if i make this smoke layer invisible as you guys can see here it's now creating a displacement map of that smoke here and that's how i created this effect up on the screen and basically to create this effect in its entirety you can double click on your pre-composed bottom background layer click on one of these layers and then add on the luma key effect and to get that effect simply just increase the threshold to fade it out you just want to make sure to increase the edge feather so now we can turn back on our smoke layer and then just kind of play around with these values over here on the background layer so you can try increasing the blur lens decreasing the blur lens creating more fine detail or more kind of blown out detail and you can keep turning this on and off you know to get what you want and then of course increase the amount rotate warp direction and you can also keyframe all of these in and out at the same time and so so far we have something that looks like this which i think looks really good and then what you can do as well is you can duplicate the smoke layer again and then repeat the displacement mapping effect having it layer on top of everything instead of behind everything but i'm not going to do that so what i'll do instead is right click down here go to new create an adjustment layer and add on uni heat wave which is a red giant universe plugin this is just going to add in some nice waves and ripples so kind of as that smoke starts to come in right here maybe halfway I'll increase the heat intensity and blur amount, and I'll just blast the heat intensity up to 100. And as you can see, that's just gonna start adding in those little ripples right here. And to pull up my keyframes, I'll click on the adjustment layer and click U. And then over on the left here, I'll just bring the heat intensity and blur amount back down to zero. Right about here, as that smoke is starting to dissipate, I'll set keyframes here again at their default position from when I set right here. 
and then later i'll just bring these back down to zero again just like that and so far we have something that looks like this now next i'll add on sapphire flicker to that same adjustment layer and then increase the amplitude to something like 0 0.5 halfway through and then you know pretty simple just bring this back down to zero on either end just like that and then finally we can add on lumetri color to that same adjustment layer and as that smoke starts to come in i think i'll set keyframes for contrast and blacks and then just bring the blacks down like that and then increase the contrast a bit and then over here bring this back down to zero for both and then just repeat that process on the right side so now we have something that looks like this right here which i think looks decent and then what we'll do is create a new adjustment layer on top and then add on rsmb which is motion blur which is essential for this effect in, in my opinion because as you can see this is what it is with motion blur and this is what it is without which makes a huge difference in just kind of solidifying the detail and drowning out that really shitty quality and then of course i'm just going to add on another final adjustment layer to add on another lumetri color and all i'm going to do is just kind of try to blend this smoke together a bit more by increasing the contrast decreasing the temperature slightly opening up those curves again and then going back to that green and just increasing it very slightly again and then maybe increasing or decreasing a few more of these values like shadows whites and highlights and again if y'all want to save time while editing check out my website i've spent over a year developing over 20 products for you guys that are guaranteed to save you time money resources and all that good stuff that makes your life easier. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. As always, man, have a great rest of your day and peace out.